always been a rich and important city that was founded around 400 BC. Located in Italy's northern Lombardy region, it is the country's main industrial, financial, and commercial center. And along with Paris, it is Europe's fashion and design capital. The city has an outstanding mix of beautiful historical architecture and modern high-rise skyscrapers, and offers a large assortment of remarkable churches, monuments, and interesting attractions for visitors to discover. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Milan, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Milan Cathedral. Milan's magnificent Gothic Cathedral is the third largest cathedral in Europe and dominates the Great Piazza on which it is located. With an Italian Gothic style, the front facade of the cathedral is truly magnificent and is crowned with countless towers, statues, and decoration. The interior is just as decorative and features some beautiful stained glass windows, bursting with color and a fantastic display of artwork. Visitors can take an elevator or stairs to the top of this enormous church and enjoy truly spectacular views of Milan. Number 9 is the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Milan. With three routes throughout the center of Milan, covering all major tourist attractions, the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus is a great way to explore the city. The fleet of comfortable buses will whisk you between stops, specially chosen to give a comprehensive introduction to Milan's rich history and dazzling culture. With audio guides in several languages and unbeatable panoramic views, visitors can get to know this famous city in detail. At number 8 is Parco Sempione. As one of the premier parks in Milan, the Parco Sempione is a large public space and garden that sits behind the Sforzesco Castle. Originally established in 1888, the park covers 95 acres and contains the fantastic Arch of Peace. This wonderful place is beautifully landscaped and contains multiple footpaths, bike trails, and wooded areas, together with many sculptures and ornate fountains. Number 7 is the Sforzesco Castle. This very impressive 15th century castle has a central location in Milan and is set in extensive grounds and gardens. Although the original design has been modified and added too greatly, it still retains its elegance and status of power. Aside from the castle itself, there is also a host of small museums that contain a collection of interesting artifacts and historical information about the castle and Milan. At number 6 is San Siro Stadium. Visitors can explore the famous home of AC Milan and Inter Milan, as this massive football shrine is one of the largest stadiums in Europe. The stadium was consistently enlarged to accommodate more and more fans, and it's also a prime spot for concerts. Enter the changing rooms, the mix zone, and the stands, and then walk through the Tunnel of Champions right onto the legendary pitch of one of the premier sporting venues in Italy. Number 5 is the Pinacoteca Ambrosiana. Explore a real piece of history at one of the oldest public art galleries in the world. Located in the Palazzo Barrera, the Pinacoteca contains a large collection of Italian art. Visitors can enjoy the art of Raphael, Botticelli, Caravaggio, Titian, and many more. Da Vinci's Codex Atlanticus is the highlight of the museum, with original pages of drawings and notes on engineering, anatomy, architecture, geometry, and astronomy. At number 4 is La Scala. Located to the north of Duomo, this famous opera house is one of the finest in the world and is renowned for its acoustic qualities and opulence. Visitors can tour La Scala with a knowledgeable guide and see paintings, statues, and beautiful furniture while learning the history of La Scala and facts about the famous operas performed there. Number 3 is the Museum of Science and Technology, Leonardo da Vinci. Milan's Museum of Science and Technology, Leonardo da Vinci, is housed in a 16th century monastery and features a collection of more than 16,000 items. As one of the most important Leonardo da Vinci museums in the world, visitors can find collections of his drawings, blueprints, and sketches. There are seven different departments in the museum, each of which studies and researches the collections, as well as creating exhibitions and educational activities. At number two are the Navigli Canals. Constructed originally in the late 12th century, the Navigli Canals were worked on for many years and continue to expand into what they are today. Milan's canals aren't only beautiful, but functional, as they were constructed to transport goods from the nearby lakes. Visitors can walk along this fantastically picturesque canal that is lined with old buildings, plus a variety of shops and restaurants. And at number one is the Last Supper. Perhaps one of the most famous paintings in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, can be seen in the refectory of the Covenant of Santa Maria delle Grazie. The 15th century fresco is one of the most studied and revered artistic achievements in the world. Visitors can also roam around the rest of the stunning Santa Maria delle Grazie, seeing other highlights, including the altarpiece by Titian and Bramantino's fresco. But the star of the show is The Last Supper. So, that sums up our top 10 things to do in Milan. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.